the obstacle to having people become scientists and engineers is frequently that their first year experience is filled with uh, requirement classes or the so-called barrier classes, you know, physics, chemistry, first year engineering, calculus or whatever, and the students don't see the purpose of those classes and frequently it, they get discouraged along the way. It seemed like the, the students coming out of our freshman class uh, weren't as motivated as we wanted them to be. The uh, faculty that were teaching the upper level classes felt that the students weren't as prepared as they should be. So we realized that it was time to make some fundamental changes in the way that we, uh, we taught that introductory level class. This class is a radical departure from your traditional lab and lecture uh, in that there are no lectures, there are no textbooks, there are no tests, no quizzes, there's no final exams. The class is built around a year-long project where the students work as a team to design and develop a functional imaging system which then goes on display for thousands of people at the Institute's annual Innovation Festival, Imagine RIT. For the students that are in this class, it can be a little intimidating and a little scary. I mean, for example, we're asking them to do things that not only have they never done, but we've never done them either. <laughs> when I walked in the first day and my professor told me that we had to build, not just build, design and build from scratch something that did not exist in the first place, I thought he was joking. I kind of panicked a little bit. My initial reaction was probably fear. <laughs> the first advice that I will give any student will be don't be afraid. Uh, you're going to be able to do this. It may sound totally overwhelming, but uh, you're going to be capable of doing this. The systems that we want them to design are so new and so cutting edge that they won't learn anything about them in textbooks. They have to go to um, published journal articles, they have to go to conference proceedings, they have to read dissertations from PhD students in order to get the, the foundational information they need in order to be able to begin this project. We didn't necessarily have uh, a path that was defined for us as we came here. We had an end goal, but the path to that goal was completely up to us. Not only do I have to figure out how to build this, but I have to figure out what I have to know to figure out how to build this. We broke up into different groups to tackle each task. And then we presented what we found on certain things that would be key to the project moving forward. We learned to work together and be able to rely on each other even though we just met these people. Instances in class when somebody comes up with a breakthrough thought, experience, and they came up with hardware solution or software solution, you can see the eureka light going on in their heads because they finally understood something and and that moment is when they really claim the project as theirs. In a project like this, the students get the joy of discovery and creation right away, and it gives them the motivation to persist through those classes, which are very important to them. Ultimately, they want to be scientists and engineers, but now they know why they want to do that. Compared to other classes, I was much more willing to work <laughs> on the project because I knew why I was doing this work. I knew exactly to what end my work had on the project. Generally, when you're undertaking very sophisticated development projects, it's very unlikely that any one individual is going to be able to do everything on their own. You know, they've got to rely on people with skills and expertise that they don't have and work as a team in order to be able to achieve their technical goals. My role is basically just try to guide them but never try to impose a direction on them. And it's taken me a lot of patience and it's taught me a very big lesson in terms of, of they can do it and they will get there. Just be quiet, be patient, and, and with a little guidance if need be, uh, they will get there. So it's been a fantastic experience. In order to teach in this environment, first of all, you have to be able to deal with uncertainty because from the very first day, you never really know what direction the project is going to go. Because of that, you also have to be adaptable, not only day to day based on the progress that the students are making on their project, but also year to year because each incoming class is going to have its own skill set and its own personality. And then lastly, you also have to be able to deal with situations that are outside your area of expertise. There are going to be things that will come up that you've never encountered in your teaching career before, and the ability to deal with those is going to have a significant impact on whether or not the students are actually able to succeed and reach their technical goals. My greatest concern was uh, that um, the lack of, of rules and directions, and because of the fact that I've been a traditional teacher for so many years, I, I was a little bit concerned about the fact that without rules we were going to be able to produce what we were hoping to produce and that the students will end up with a working system that could be demonstrated. On a daily basis we have visitors pop into the class, upper level students, grad students, faculty, staff, 
people from other departments who actually feel like they want to contribute and they want to help the students achieve their goals. And so there really has become a department level project and not just a project that a group of freshmen are working on. Everybody feels ownership of this in the center now. I would say that this experience has really exceeded my expectations and pretty much everyone's in the center, not only in terms of what the students have achieved and how it's transformed them, but also in what it's done for the center as a whole, how the center has really become committed in ways we couldn't have imagined to the success of these students. I think the greatest impact on the students has been their ability to work with each other. I think um, they have been surprised at the difficulty of some of the personal interactions, uh, but they've also realized important things about themselves and what it takes to get a project done by working together. And then I think, at least the, thus far, they've actually accomplished their goals or exceeded them, and I don't think they always believed they would do that. So that's an invaluable lesson to them about what they're really capable of. Feeling that accomplishment at the end that as a group we did make it through all our struggles and we got to that final result and we were able to show it to our friends and family and the community at RIT and they were proud of us. That was a great feeling. Because these are independent parents, students, faculty who had no idea when they walked up to our booth who exactly we were and when they found out that we were freshmen it was probably one of the greatest feelings up until this point in my life. I had never expected by the end of my freshman year that I'd be involved in a project that built something totally new. So I think it's really changed our view of, the, of what we can help students to achieve. You don't find too many freshmen who can come up to you and say, I've built this over the course of the last nine months. And when you come into even a job interview and say, you know, when I was a freshman, I worked with this team of other students who are also freshmen to build a functional imaging device that people can use for real world applications. That's an enormous asset. The students reacted to this pedagogy far better than we could have ever hoped. Uh, and I'll say right off the bat that it's apparent that it's not for everyone, but the vast majority of the students um, benefit greatly from this kind of an approach. And we see that in um, not only the course evaluations where 75% of them have given this course the highest possible rating in terms of its effectiveness, but we also see it in terms of their actions after they leave the course. Um, we see that the students coming out of this are doing far more in terms of getting engaged in research than any of their predecessors have. And we see them getting engaged in this research far earlier than any of the previous students have too. It's not unusual for students while they're in this class, still in their freshman year, to start writing proposals to get funding to pursue projects that they're interested in. This is unheard of. We had never seen this before prior to implementing this kind of an approach. People gain confidence. We know that we can do whatever we set out to do. Okay, I know what college is about now. I can really go forward and, and be confident and like take charge and of what I want to do and what I want to accomplish. The skill set that I learned in Freshman Imaging Project impacts us almost every single day. Being thrown into something that's way beyond what you think your ability and then rising to meet the task, it suddenly seemed like whatever we wanted to do was possible. I couldn't be more excited and I think the center couldn't be more excited about the success that we've had with this program and project, which we saw as experimental when we started, and we said we may not succeed, and uh, but we, we're so, I think the pride is enormous, and when we see what these students have accomplished and become, and their poise when they give presentations, it just, you know, blows our socks off, and so we're really, we're really excited about this whole approach. This class is by far the single most rewarding experience that I've been involved in in my entire career as an educator. I feel very, very fortunate that I was given the opportunity to participate in this experience and to work with um, such a wonderful, talented group of students uh, and to do something that a lot of people thought that couldn't be done.